it's never enough for these guys and it never will be enough. There's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's no cheese at the end of the maze. You're never going to get the carrot on the string. There's nothing that Marvel, Star Wars, Disney, DC, Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek. There's nothing any of these companies could do to make these guys pivot, shift, change, adjust their perspective, adjust their opinion on what kind of content they're making. There's absolutely nothing they could do to course correct or fix it. And I'm actually shocked that we're seeing, this is one of like three videos I've seen in the last couple of weeks where they're actually like actively admitting this to their community and their community is either just too completely lost, caught up, you know, whatever it is in, in all of this, that they're not seeing it. Um, it must be miserable to be a fan to hear this. And let me explain why from an outsider perspective. Imagine you've been fighting this culture war for four or five years now, right? You've been fighting hard, trying to get these, these studios to listen and change their content. Go back to the stuff we love because we want to love this stuff again. We, we love these, these properties, these superheroes, these, these movies. These, we love it so much, we just want them to fix it. Imagine doing that for five years, following these guys, you know, as Eric, Geeks and Gamers, Nerd Roddick, uh, Critical Drinker, all these. We just want them to fix it. Only to find out it's too late now. It's too late. Pack it up. Go home. You know, th there's no way to fix any of this stuff. Sorry about it. I know we've been fighting this war for a while, but we lost. We lost. There's nothing they can do to fix any of this stuff. And all of this, all these videos, all this complaining, all of this constructive criticism, these live streams, all the money you've spent for us to say the thing and do the thing, all of that was absolutely for nothing because it's too late. There's nothing they can do to fix anything. Imagine that. Imagine being in that space. That's where we are now. And this video, which we're not going to watch together, I've already watched it. It's like eight minutes of Eric and Az talking about how there's nothing that Marvel can do to fix any of the problems. It's too late now. And I'm like, well, then what is all of this for? What is, what are we doing? Why are we spinning our wheels then? If these guys truly believe that these, these brands are beyond reprieve, they can't ever fix anything there's no problem they can fix within their brand that would make people love it again. Uh, then what are we doing? At what point does it just become hating, right? We talked about this. Like criticism and opinion usually comes along with a way to fix that issue, or at least at the very least, your opinion on how you would fix that issue, right? That's what that comes with. Hate is simply just not liking something, going hard against it, and not wanting it to exist. At what point do we cross that threshold with these guys? And at what point do you fans of these guys even realize that that's what you're caught up in, this perpetual cycle, this, this black hole, this whirlpool of hate with no end in sight? Because these guys are going to continue to make videos criticizing brands now that they believe are a lost cause. Because this isn't the last video that Az and, and Eric are going to make about Mar Marvel, right? It's not the last one. So if it's not the last video and it's too late for them to course correct, then what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing, guys? What is it? We're never going to love anything that we loved before. There's nothing they can do to, to change it. Like they could have, they could have really framed this as a win. They could have because we hashtag we will win is their thing, right? They could have framed this as a win, win and said, hey, look, all this culture war shit we've been doing, all this fighting we've been doing, it's working. Marvel is fixing everything. They're taking the year off to like do all the stuff that we want them to do and let's let's give them a shot let's see what they're going to bring for us before we start getting mad and angry about it we won our culture war we won the culture war you don't admit defeat you can't win while also losing that makes no sense at all this is one of the dumbest takes so far there's another video over here by um by uh overlord dvd doomcock where he also has a very similar um take on this we're not going to pull it up but just this idea that the culture war that they've been fighting was all for nothing because there's nothing they can do to fix this. And this means the writing's on the wall. This is a shift because that means they truly believe that these things might be good, but they need to start astroturfing right now so they can continue to milk their pay pigs. Speaking of that, let me explain why it's financially beneficial for these guys to continue to make this kind of content. I've said this before, but I'm going to reiterate it because it bears repeating. These guys make money off of you being mad at stuff. I'm going to say it again very slowly. These guys 
make money from you being mad about stuff. This means it's within their best interest to keep you mad, to keep you outraged, to keep you angry. So you'll keep coming back and clicking on their videos. You'll keep coming to their live streams and sending them five, 10, $20 to say the thing that you want to say. They're incentivized to continue to make content like this. Eric and a lot of the creators in the space that are actually making counterculture merchandise, whether it be comic books, movies, TV shows, they really have no reason to ever praise anything from Hollywood because their entire business model is Hollywood's a problem. I'm providing the solution. That's why I've said being a critic in this space when you're a creative draws a conflict of interest. It really is a tough, it's, it's a tough path to navigate. But Eric benefits from Hollywood being shit. So Hollywood ever doing anything good would be bad to Eric's business. Point blank, period. As far as As goes, he's a living meme. People want to see As, you know, freak out on camera and yell and scream and, 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 and get angry about the dumbest shit. So he also has no financial incentive to ever be happy about anything. Look, you don't have to, again, I say this a lot. You don't have to like me. You don't have to like my content. You don't have to like the space I'm in. But at a certain point, maybe it'll be on this video. Maybe it'll be down the road. Maybe it'll be the video that they made here. You have to realize that they don't want to fix any of the problems with the stuff you love. They don't want to fix Marvel because you love it. They don't want to fix Star Wars because you love it or because they love it. They don't want to fix Lord of the Rings because you love it or they love it. They just want you to be mad about something in those properties so they can continue to make content also being mad about those things, whether they're fans of them or not. Because a lot of times they'll make videos about stuff, like Melanie Mack made a video where she acted like she was angry about X-Men 97, proving that she never fucking cared about the cartoon or the comic books. So it's financially beneficial for them to keep you that way. And, and look, if you can cope with that, if you can watch this content and go, you know what, I'm okay with them monetizing my anger. I'm okay tipping them, knowing very well there is no culture war, there's no uh, reward for any of this. There's no solution to any of this. I'm okay just throwing my money away and throwing my time away watching and supporting these channels. If you can do that, if that is something you can cope with, you can live with, then fine. But if you're somebody where you're like, I don't know if that's truly how I feel. Am I really, do I really feel like these guys? Or is there a sense of community over there that I'm drawn to? What would happen if, if, you know, I liked Deadpool or I like Fantastic Four. Could I take that love to the community and they look at it in a way that's unbiased? Or would they get mad because I like something from Marvel and shun me? Is that what is that what is keeping me from loving anything? Is being a part of this community? You have to think about that. Maybe you will. I don't know. It's unhealthy. This environment is very unhealthy. Uh it's it is a perpetual cycle of anger and hate. And I truly, like, I, I understand a lot of the stuff that happens in the space, but what I don't understand is how someone can be a fan of something for so long, flip on it, and then go, you know what, it's a lost cause, but I'm going to continue to get online and engage with it and engage with people who are talking about it and be mad and angry about something that I know has absolutely no chance of getting better.